ask you this. What do you say to those that underestimated you based on your physique? Well, you know, all that, tra all that training, hard work that, that I did, you know, um, everybody's been underestimating me since I was young, you know, and the best thing that I did was prove them wrong. And I think that was the, the sweet victory that I had. Watching you on the way up, I mean, you, you, could, you, you could be overweight, but that base, that's based on a diet. A heavyweight doesn't have to make weight. So the question is, how's your wind? How are your legs? You went 12 tough rounds with Joseph Parker, barely lost over in his, you know, in his backyard. So we knew you could box. We knew you had conditioning. But damn, you got, it's not just that you won the title. You got up from the kind of shot that guys don't get up from and then knocked your man down and changed the course of the fight in that same round. Take me through that. It's crazy, man. It was my first time being dropped, too. I was dropped in the third round. I got up. Um, I think that Mexican warrior in me, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it, it just, uh, he'll, I think Anthony, uh, Anthony Joshua was saying that it was like a god, it was a punch from the gods, you know? But, you know, it was all that hard work, dedication that I've been doing since I was six years old. Um, you know, I, I, I think fighting a top lead and, and me, uh, I don't know, it brings out the best of me. Brings out the best of me. Well, let Even me say I this. First of, all, first of all, thank you for being on the show. Secondly, when Molly's talking about people underestimating you, that would be me. Let me be very, very of clear. Of course. You came, in, you came in as an 11 to 1 underdog. Uh, you shocked the world. Your skills are big time. I got to admit it. You got fast hands. You can box. You can take a punch. You got a lot of heart. I got on you about your physique a little bit, but that was all I was saying. Mm -hmm. I certainly wasn't questioning your skills or your 33 and 1 record with 22 KOs for crying out loud, and you had never been dropped. My issue is this boxing, we talked about Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder. It was a mega fight. People question, all right, this is tantamount to Tyson upset and Buster Douglas. My response to you and Max would be, what's wrong with me being disgusted, loving the sport of boxing, not knowing it like you, not knowing it like Max, but loving it? What's wrong with me going like this? Damn. Now I got to think about Ruiz going up against Anthony Joshua again, which is tantamount to Buster Douglas going against Evander Holyfield instead of Tyson going against Evander Holyfield at that particular moment in time that Buster Douglas went up against Holyfield. That's all I was trying to say. Your greatness that night and your skills as a boxer robbed us of a mega fight, which I don't think we get enough of in the sport of boxing today. To that, you say what? Is there a problem with that? There's no problem, man. You know, everyone's going to have their credits. Everyone's going to have their opinions, you know. And, of course, you had your own. And, you know, I, I just went out there on June 1st, and I did my thing, something that mm -hmm. I always wanted to accomplish. And, you know, thank God for, for my victory, you know. And, and December 7th, that's what I got to do again. I got to win the same fashion that I won on June 1st. And, um, you know, I, I got to prove a lot of people wrong again. So... I think that, that, that's the, the hunger that I'm going to have in me, so I'm ready for December 7th. And if you get through the rematch with a win, there's still Deontay Wilder out there, there sure Tyson is. Fury out there. It's a great heavyweight division. But Molly started off by saying first Mexican heavyweight champ. And a lot of times a guy holds a belt, but there's the lineal champ, Tyson Fury, right? Mm -hmm. And I say, I, I follow the lineal champ. But in this case, Tyson Fury stepped away from the sport for like a year, and a consensus formed around Anthony Joshua as he's like, who's the champ, him or Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder? And so you knocked out that guy. I consider that like legit championship. How does it feel to be the first Mexican, which is a sport, uh, country Mexican and a culture Mexican and Mexican-American obsessed with boxing, heavyweight champion of the world? It feels good, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be the first Mexican heavyweight champion of the world. This is what me and my family have been dreaming about, my coaches, my whole team. So... Now what does it that, mean to you? It means a lot, you know. I mean, not just for me, but for all my people, you know. Not just for me, but, but for all my people. And, you know, it's just, it's just a big blessing, dude. Big blessing. I got to admit, I, I tell you what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping, I'm hoping for a sensational performance, whether it's by you or Anthony Joshua, just to justify a mega fight. That's what I'm after in boxing. And I just want to know from both of y'all. I, I, I mean, I got, to, I got to get on both of y'all about this. I mean, listen, not you so much, Andy, because listen, you got to go out there and perform. And again, you can really, really fight. You're going to kick a lot of tail. Ain't no doubt about that. I ain't taking anything away from you. 
But there's something to be said about a mega fight, and I think that a repeat performance by you could potentially give us that with you and Wilder. Max, Andy, do you feel that way, that the next fight has to be handled in similar, if not even more spectacular fashion in order for y'all to keep the attention that the heavyweight division had before you knocked out Anthony Joshua? Of course, man. I got to win December 7th the same way um, you know, I got all the four belts. All I'm, all I'm missing is the WBC belt, and Wilder has it. So, you know, I, I don't want to look past Anthony Joshua. I don't want to underestimate him at all. So I think I just want to focus on him, get that win, and maybe fight Wilder, Fury. So but whatever happens is going to happen is going to be for a purpose. There have been heavyweights. Muhammad Ali was the first fat heavyweight who could really fight during, you know, at, in his second career. Sometimes he'd come in 225 and he looked kind of sloppy and still have those skills. So, and, and throughout the 80s, Greg Page and these guys. But Andy, I want to talk about that for a second because there are some guys who can do that but are still better off when they're physically in better shape. Do you feel that applies to you? In other words, some guys are just, you know, they, they carry the extra weight, it don't matter. But, but usually, if you don't see it, it means they're in better shape and, and they do better. How do you feel about that yourself? You know what? For that fight in June 1st, I wanted to gain a little bit of weight. I wanted to be strong because Anthony Joshua, he's really big. I wanted to be strong. I wanted to have that power. So, um, but for this fight, I am going to slim down. I am going to get in way better shape. Plus, we have a longer training camp because of the first fight, we only had a, a month and a half. So this time we have of uh, more training camp and more time. So for sure, I'm going to be in better shape. I'm going to feel a lot better. And if I'm lighter, of course, I'm going to have more ability, more head movement, more speed. So I think that's the, the, the good plan. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.